Hello ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome to a discussion video about the news that just came out of Space Engineers. There's been some really cool news. We also got a sneak peek at planets. I'm gonna get into that in a second. The big news though is the, uh, the full access to the source code for Space Engineers. What does this mean? Well, it means uh, mod authors have been kind of working with their hands tied behind their back just a bit. Not every part of Space Engineers has been uh, accessible to mod authors until now. Uh, anybody has full-on access. Like here, I'll pull up the uh, the dev blog from uh, from Merrick Rosa, the the lead engineer, the lead uh, developer over at Keen Software House. So he has officially announced it, 100% um, complete access to the Space Engineer source code. Uh, what this means is it's not open source, it's not freeware, but it is actually just, um, you, you're allowed to modify it as a mod author, but you can't just like take code and re-release it. You can't just re-release it as your own game. But they've actually come up with an avenue for something like that you can do, um, which is really exciting. If you didn't notice the $100,000 USD fund, uh, what that is, is, let's, let me see if I can find it here. Uh, I, well, it's in the email somewhere. Basically, what they're doing is $100,000, and they'll, if you're a team that wants to build your game on, like, the Space Engineers platform, and think of it like uh, Unreal Tournament, right? The Unreal Engine, you could always license that engine and then build your own game on top of it. We've seen a lot of great games come out of that. Gears of War was an Unreal Engine game. Um, and then and then release it. Well, they've actually they're putting up front a hundred thousand dollars to uh, to mod authors and to developers and say, hey, you know, you want to work inside the engine? Well, we might we might be willing to fund you. We might be willing to um, to, uh, to to get that off the ground. Your project uh, as uh, let's see, he actually goes into what what the money could be used for, how they may use it. Uh, da, 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 da. let's see here. Modders can now develop the same way that Keen Software House developers do. In other words, um, they're working on the game. Mod authors, now that they have full access, we're working on the game just like the developers are. And uh, we'll get into how that could change some of the mods that we're going to see. But let's get down to uh, during the last few months. Obfuscation, yeah, 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 yeah. Benefits, that's cool. How does it work? Uh, what mods can be made? What are modders saying? Here we go, $100,000. So, um, we're considering several ways how this fund, the $100,000 that they could use, uh, they could use it as grants with no strings attached, right? Uh, the, the UDK is like that, so that's the Unreal Engine. Uh, zero interest loan, so in other words, somebody, like a developer comes up and they've got a history of developing games and they say, hey, we wanna make our game, we want to start off the engine that you've already produced, it's already capable of quite a lot, especially once they fix the multiplayer issues and they get the planet rendering in, oh man. So somebody says, hey, I wanna build an RTS in, in your engine, or something. Uh, maybe they could give them a loan toward funding that development, uh, a zero interest loan, which is a little bit insane. Um, PR, marketing, promotional, social media, yada, yada, yada. But uh, it's a really cool idea, like the grants idea for researching if the engine could be used in another way, or maybe somebody has a really cool idea for a game built in the engine. They could just drop them this, here's some free money to make something cool. Talk about supporting your modding community. Like legitimately, we're not just supporting you, we're willing to fund you, that's support. That's that's just that's more than just saying hey we support the modding community, uh, very impressive, pretty damn impressive. Uh, they've got a few bits like quotes from some of the mod authors that are out there, um, Diggy, uh, Tyrusus, and then uh, Malware. So Malware actually I thought his was interesting out of all of them because he's like I'm personally very happy to be granted access to the source code, but I'm a bit worried that what will happen to it once everybody has you know their hands on it. Uh, they do acknowledge that this could in kind of not encourage cheating, but make cheating a little easier. Will that be a thing? I'm not really worried about it, honestly. I mean, how many people right now really play on public servers and space engineers? You get your buddies together, like our Space Engineers Roleplay series, and, and you play and you have fun. If you're playing with people you trust and you've got somebody who's adminning it and knows how to back up a save, the issue is probably not that big of a deal. Now, when they fix multiplayer and you can have like I don't know, they haven't said player numbers yet, but what if you can have like 20 or 30 people in a server, 60 people in a server, then you start getting real public servers going, then I can see cheating being a problem. But um, like the devs say in this blog, he's, he says this is gonna motivate us to get patches out quicker and to you know find ways around that to make sure that, the, that uh, people can't just cheat. And the way that the client server setup is going to be, um, the, the server should be checking the client data to make sure it's legitimate client data, uh, so that's going to be on the development side. And they said they're not stopping working on it. And to prove it, 
Here's the part that excites me. I'm gonna probably put this in the title of the video, right? But to prove that they're still working on the project, that they're not like saying, hey, the project is open source. Um, it, you know, it's open to mod authors to do what they want. And now we're just gonna pretty much let you guys develop the game. They're not saying that. Uh, and to prove it, they dropped us. I'm gonna scroll down here. Let me see if I can click these and make them full screen. They dropped us the first look at planets rendered in the engine. And this made me so happy to see, like so excited. Because uh, right now, Space Engineers, the engine is so open, people, and with modders being able to do anything they want, the idea that we can have a universe. Right now, we have an, an unlimited amount of space to explore, but there's nothing to really explore out there. But the, the engine is, I think it's capable of a lot, especially when talented developers get their hands on it. And the idea that having planets that we can land on, that we can build structures on top of, that we can, um, maybe we can have like AI. We've already seen AI from the modding community being scripted in. There's a great mod for surviving AI waves. There's, a, there's another one where you actually like, the AI builds buildings and they send units at you and they have a uh, kind of like a real-time strategy AI already built in. Um, I wanna say that's like, Sector 13 or Project 13. I'll, I'll remember the name and I'll put a link in the description below. But um, let's look at some more pictures. Like, look at that. Seeing the sunrise on one of these planets. And that opens up an interesting question that I didn't actually think about. Will they have multiple star systems? Like right now we've always, we don't have faster than light travel in space engineers. But if we're gonna have multiple planets, will they make it so moving the light source, adding multiple star systems into the game? Will that be a thing? Uh, or will a mod author do it? You know, that's another question. Let's go down and look at some more here. So there's a closer up picture. Now they don't have um, the foliage in the game yet. They don't have trees or anything like that, but they're working on it. He does say that they're working on it. Let's scroll down the beautiful mountain range in the background. You can see like the, the atmospheric filtering. Oh, it looks good. A little selfie. Is this Space Engineer's planet selfie? <laughs> And that's the last one. So a little, little teaser of planets, but uh, they're moving quick. I mean, there's one thing you could say about Keen Worksoft, um, Software Workshop, is that uh, they move fast when it comes to updates. Every, every Thursday, we get a new one. Today's update was actually um, the ability to mod the upgrade modules for the different you know, items in the game. So making your refinery produce more faster, making it... Um, making like your thrusters. They just added in a new module to upgrade your thrusters. So you plop this thing on to the side of your thruster and now your thruster is accelerating faster. Stuff like that. So, and then you can mod those. So you can make your mod compatible with them. You can make new versions of them, all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, but that's basically it guys. Planets in the works. The, the engine is now open for development for modders completely. Now, one mod that stood out to me as Somebody made a mod where they have a shield. Now, we, I've done a lot of Star Trek stuff on the uh, on the channel, and I always thought, you know, Space Engineers, a mod that I would really like to see is like a shield system, so we can make more interesting, maybe, combat scenarios, uh, or have just a new cool block to build. Anyways, this guy made a shield. It's a block you put in your ship, and when any of the blocks on your ship take damage, the damage is kind of rerouted, like a structural integrity field, to this shield block. And the shield block actually takes damage until eventually it's destroyed, or disabled. And then in which case the blocks themselves will start taking damage. But you had to work the patch, the, the, this mod in through like DLL changes. And it was a really, it was more complicated than any other Space Engineers mod really to install. So this though, this new, new change in how, how modders will be able to work on the code and stuff will allow that mod to be produced, I think. Much easier, probably get it up on the workshop. Uh, mods like that, mods that will add, really add new things to the game, new mechanics to the game, is what I think we're gonna see out of this. It's really exciting. That's, the big point of this is, it's a really exciting change, and their, their software house has probably shown more support for modding than anybody else, honestly. You can't even say like Minecraft, who's kind of really well known for modding, they didn't support their modders like this. No way. And so this is fantastic. It was the modding community for that game that supported the modders, but this is full on from the developers. So, all right, guys, uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for more gaming goodness. Thank you for watching. And uh, let me know in the comments below, what kind of mods would you like to see come out of this? I mean, I'd love to see some of the ideas and maybe some of the mod authors in the community will see that and maybe we'll get some stuff going. All right, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video.